Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to film filming my update to the Fifty Shades of Brown project. So this is a Pantus and Ladies Club Facebook group project and it's created by Jessica, Amanda and Cece. I'll make sure to have their channels linked below and a link to the Pantus and Ladies Club Facebook group if you'd like to go over there and join. And this project is where you choose 50 products with the colour brown on them. It could be in the packaging the name, the product itself and this product has been going for quite a few years now. So this project does go from the 15th of April 2024 to the 15th of April 2025 and this update I can roll eight items out which I'm so pleased about. I'm so pleased with how this project is going. So without further ado let's get into it. If I've missed anything I'll make sure to leave it below but I'm going to start with the ones that I can roll out and then I'll show you the ones I have been working on. So the first one I can roll out is my Nabla bronzer. This is the Skin Bronzing bronzing powder in ambre and this is what it looks like. I have made really good progress on this because before I brought it in it had maybe had a handful of uses, really not that much. But now you can't even see where the name was on the bronzer here which is really good. So I did want to use this one 24 times. I've used it nine times this update to get my 24 uses. I really have been trying to prioritise getting this rolled out because I do have another bronzer in this project that is into finish so I really want to start prioritising that one. So yeah, I have managed to get my 24 use on this one. It's a nice bronzer, I do like it. It's not my favourite, but one I am happy to keep in my collection and use. But that one is now rolling out. So the next product I can roll out is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Chocolate. I'm so glad that this is done and I never thought I would hear myself say that about the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks because I absolutely love these but this chocolate one was just not for me. It felt like I was putting chocolate spread all over my lips and yeah just was not a big fan. And um, My goal was to finish it. It's a little bit in the bottom there but I can't get in to get it and it's fine. I'm happy to call that done. I've got everything out of it. I could so I used it six times this update for a total of 46 uses overall and this one is now rolling out. That is not one I would get again. If I got it in a set I would use it but I wouldn't buy that one full size. So the next one I finished is the Wardek Collagen Eye Serum. So this was one I really wasn't sure last update whether I would get done or not but I have. There's a little bit in the bottom but I can't actually get it out. I've tipped it upside down. I've tried everything. It is quite runny so I thought you know I would have been able to get that last little bit out but it was just I was trying to like get onto my hand and it just was not working so I'm it's done. I used it seven more times this update for a total of 43 uses overall. This was an okay eye serum. It was hydrating but I noticed no difference. It was one I used in the morning and I did I did feel like it did hydrate my under eyes but for the price of it I would not get it again. It's £54.99p and that was when I got it. I don't know if it's gone up now but that is a lot of money for an eye product so not one I would get again. Next product I have is a fresh Umbrarian Clear Purifying Mask. So this was actually one I finished this update. I used it four times for a total of four uses and this is what it looked like inside. And to be honest it's not a mask I would get again. I find clear masks are not really for me. I have dry skin and I find they do just dry them out more and this one was the same it just dried it out I usually like fresh products but the last few I've tried I've not been the biggest fan of um, and this is just one where I just don't think it's really suited to me but I used it up and I got four uses out of it I then used the last sheet mask I brought into this project in this the Q Bell Bath and Beauty Brightening Kiwi Antioxidant Peel Off Mask I was so hesitant about using this because I'm not a big fan of peel off masks so I left this one to last and it wasn't one I could peel off. It was extremely, extremely sticky and I left it for, I think it was half an hour, where? yeah, 30 minutes. And even then it was just not one I could peel off my face, not one I would get again. I just don't like peel off masks. I actually got this in the box that my mum and dad get me at Christmas. But yeah, not just not a big fan of peel off masks, but I used it. I then have the original source tropical coconut and shea butter shower gel so I did finish this one. I like the smell of this one, my partner did not, he he just was not a big fan of it. Um, these are really cheap, they're about a pound and I would get them again, I think it lathered well. I like this scent but I think of all the 
scents they've got. I don't know whether this would be the one I would gravitate towards. I can't quite put my finger on what it smells like. It smells like something I have smelt before, but I'm just not sure. Um, I don't think it smells like coconut or shea butter. <laughs> but yeah, I finished it up. I don't tally how many times I use my shower gels just because I always forget, to be honest. So, but that one is now done. I then have the Ahave Mineral Hand Cream. So this was the hand cream I've been using beside my bed. And I was here last update, so I did think I would have this one done by this update. I managed to get a further five uses out of this for a total of 28 uses and this is now done. This is an extremely thick hand cream. I didn't mind the smell of it. Not my favourite like scent but I didn't mind it but that is now finished. And then the last product I can roll out is the Sashwan Hair Repair Mask and I have used this one four times for a total of eight uses overall and it is now done and I liked this mask. I thought it made my hair feel really soft. I'm not sure I would get it again because I love my Garnier masks and I felt like this does the exact same as that and that is much cheaper. But yeah, I managed to finish that and that is everything that I was able to roll out. But again, I'm so pleased because I feel like I don't have much left in this project considering there were 50 products. I feel like I am making really good progress on the products. So now let's talk about the products I have been working on. So the first one is my Primark Prep and Perfect Illuminating Primer. I thought I was going to have this one done. I was like so sure last update I was, was going to have this one done. But this is just never ending. There is just so much product in this. I'm not complaining because I love this primer. I do think though by next update I'll have this one done because I, I can't see me having more than a week's like worth in this primer now like I'm really having to squeeze to get everything out of it but I've used it nine times this update for a total of 50 uses and I'm like I said I'm right at the bottom I'm having to like properly squeeze to get it out so yeah I think this will definitely be one I will have done by next update I know I said that last update but I really do think this one will be done by next update so the next one is my physician's formula butter bronzer so I haven't used this one as much because I've been trying to get my uses on my nabla bronzer but I have used this one time for a total of 23 uses overall and I do want to finish this one. There's really not going to be that much difference from last update because I've only used it once. But now I can start focusing on this one. I've only got another bronzer in another project but that's usage. So I can see myself gravitating towards this one a lot. This is I think the oldest bronzer in my collection so I want to get it done. Um, but yeah, I've only used it once but that was because... I was trying to focus on the other bronzer. The next product I have is my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. This is a beautiful natural highlight. I'm actually wearing it today and I just think it's so beautiful. I want to use it 24 times. Before I brought it into this project, I've not actually used it. I've used it four times this update for a total of 19 uses. So I do think I will have this one rolled out by next update. I am only working on another highlighter, so I think that I will definitely be able to get my uses on this by next update and I'll be sad actually because I really have enjoyed using that one. So the next product I have is my Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. So this is a highlighter palette and um, I use one of them as a blush topper and then the other one as a highlight and I wanted to bring them both into hit pan. Last update I did hit pan in the highlighter so I'm just focusing on the blush now and I've used it five times this update for a total of 17 uses overall and <sighs> I think this might be until the end and I don't even know then if I will actually hit pan. It just takes me forever to finish blushes and I'm not using this one every day. I'm wearing it today and I, I've got the dandelion blush underneath and then this on top and I think it's nice but I have to be really light handed with it so me hitting pan on this, I'm really not sure if it's going to happen but I'm going to keep it in all of this project and we will just see what I can do. Okay, the next product I have is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So I'm not actively using this at the moment. I'm trying to finish the Kat Von D setting spray I've been using for what it feels like forever. <laughs> so I, I've only used it once and I've used it a total of 17 times. I do think I will take this away with me on holiday because it's a perfect travel size and I do think <sighs> it depends. 
I may be able to get this done. If not, I think it'll be quite close to being done um, by next update because this is the one I'm going to take with me. Um, I love this setting spray. It's my holy grail. I've got this size. I've got a bigger travel size and then I've got the full size. I absolutely love it. The next product I have is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This one is in, I think it's chocolate. And I love this mascara. I like the one in the pink packaging. I like this one. I just love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I've used it 12 times this update for a total of 13 uses overall. I use this every single time. So I've only done my makeup 12 times since the last update. Really, really do enjoy this one. This one will be staying in until the end of November because I only use my mascaras for three months. But really loving that one. The next product I have is my MAC Well Lipstick. And I've used this once for a total of seven uses and I want to use it 24 times. I don't think I've been saying, but I do want to finish the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and the mascara. I'm actually going to get rid of this, but I have another one of these like mini MAC lipsticks in well that I'm going to bring in. The reason I'm getting rid of this is because I wore this and then later on that day I got a cold sore. I don't know if it's this product or what but I kind of just don't want to use it now just in case it gives me one again so I'm going to get rid of this one but I have like I said got a exact replacement which I will bring in and I will continue to use that I do really like that and I, it is coming into the seasons where I can wear that it's a beautiful colour I love it the next lip product I have is my MAC Alea and I'm sorry if I'm not saying that correctly and um, this is a amplified is it a Amplified Cream Lipstick in Hot Like. I absolutely love the packaging on this. This is the oldest lip product I've got in my collection, so I'm trying to get it used up, but it's not getting used up in this project. It's in for 24 uses, and this is what it looks like. And I'm actually wearing it today. It's a beautiful shade. I've used it two times for a total of two uses, so I have 22 uses to go on this. I think I will get my uses on it because I feel like it's like an everyday red lipstick I can wear, and yeah. Just really, really enjoy the formula of it. The next one I have is my Fenty Beauty lip gloss in Champs and Fantasy. Now, I don't actually have it. It's in my bag downstairs because I took it with me to wear it the other day. I've only used it three times for a total of 38 uses, so there's not going to be a huge amount of progress on it anyway. Next update, I will show you it because I'm hoping I'll be able to get a few more uses on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm making progress. It's slow, but I'm making progress. The next product I have is my P. Louise Don't Sleep On Me Lip Sleeping Mask. So because I finished the... Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm now using this one. And this is what it looks like. I'm not the biggest fan of this because firstly it's coffee scented and I'm not a coffee person. And also I find I find it really difficult to get my finger in it because I do have nails. And yeah, it's just awkward packaging. And I don't feel like it's as good as the Laneige ones so I would definitely buy those over this but I have it in my collection so I'll use it I've used it four times for a total of four uses and um, that one might be in for a while because I've never actually used one of these before so I don't know how long it will take to finish it the next product I have is my Cantu Skin Therapy Sheer Butter Nourishing Body Lotion. I have another one in this project that I haven't started to use yet I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to use it before the end of this project but we will see. Um, I think I might maybe take that one on holiday with me because it's just a little one. I don't know, I will see. But this is where I'm at. So I was here last update and now I'm down to here. It's pretty consistent progress. I think this one might be in till the end of this project, but I don't mind. I really like this one. I prefer this one to the one I had in my beauty I said a few years ago. So I've used it five times for a total of 16 uses overall, and I'm just going to keep working on it. The next product I have is my Molten Brown Heavenly Ginger Lily Bath and Shower Gel. Now, this is the one I'm currently using. Again, as I said earlier, I don't mark my shower gels, but I just wanted to say I am using this one now and I think I will have this one done by next update. And then the last product I have been using is my Esper Bergamot and Jasmine Hand Lotion. And I have used this one 12 times for a total of 12 uses and that is my progress. So it was all the way at the top and that is where I'm at now. Um, this is the one I have beside my bed now because I finished the Ahava one. Um, this is nice. It's quite thin, but I do like the smell of it. This could be in for a while though as well. It's beside my bed. I try and use it every night. I don't always use it every night, but I do try. I'd need to work on this one because it's my oldest one in my collection, but it still smells okay up to now at least. 
So next update, what do I think I could have rolled out? I do think I will have this one rolled out. I know I said that last update, but I really do think I will have this one rolled out. And I think I'll have my Benefit Dandelion highlighter rolled out. I'm really not sure on anything else, if I'm honest, because, oh, actually, and my Molten Brown Shower Gel, but I think that might be it. Potentially this, but I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, but I definitely think three more I will have out by next update. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.